Good afternoon. It is Sunday 3.40. We're going to talk about this lady. I don't have her. The clients already got her. Uh, she was a commission, but I call her the Mardi Gras fairy. Or just the Mardi Gras lady. Uh, here she is. I printed off a picture so we'd know which one I'm talking about. But she turned out really pretty. <coughs> I did resin her and I thought I pushed the record button, but apparently I didn't. So you did not get the resining part. Uh, and on the last clip, I went next door to give it to show it to the lady before it was even dry and I hurt my leg and I was bleeding all over my floor. So the last part of the video was just nothing <laughs> for like 30 minutes and I was like I was so stupid but I want to edit that out you won't see it <laughs> but this one I did show you how to mix paint my paint in this one so there you go alright guys without further ado I'm going to get you down we're going to show you how to do this Love you guys. God bless. And I'll see you on the flip side. Hi guys. You don't normally see me mixing my paint. Somebody requested that I do it on camera. So I am. The colors on this one are Deco Art Metallics 24 Karat Gold. Beautiful, beautiful color. This one is Deco Arts Metallics. This is Amethyst. Beautiful color also. And the next one is Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. Mardi Gras colors. <laughs> this is a commission piece, guys. Um, so this one is not for sale. Uh, we're going to do the colors first. And then the background will be uh, a white, and I'm going to add just a little bit of the purple to it once uh, I get them mixed. Alright, so we're going to do the gold first. Now, I'll try to stir it up. I don't know. About that much. You don't need a whole lot. Because you'll end up like me and you'll have a whole lot at the end of the week. We'll put that away. And then I'm going to get the purple. Come here. Oh. I don't hear you at it when you're down anyway, don't you? I, this one I'm not. What you wanting? Well, I was going to show you the shell of it and what their colors were. I looked them up earlier and I forgot to show them to you. Oh, for the Mardi Gras yeah. one? Oh, yeah. these work, don't they? Well, I mean, I was going to show you. She was loving them. Who is? Katie. I took them over to her and she showed Oh, okay. Well, I'll she loved the colors, so. What are the colors? Well, I was just going to show you their outfits. Oh. You got videos of them. Apparently this is the lady I'm doing the painting for. Excuse you. <laughs> Looks like a kitty cat to me. Well. Summer Entertainment at Silver Dollar City. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Uh -huh. What colors I got? Uh -huh. All right. I was just wanting to show you. Thank you. All right. That's about how much of the green. Okay, you don't want a whole lot of this stuff, guys, because 
like I said, you'll end up with tons of it like I've got over there on the shelf. And I've got so much going on these two weeks that I don't have time to use them up. So, guess what? Next week will probably be all like open cup pours and stuff like that. Alright, now, next, I do not measure this stuff, guys. I eyeball it because you want it the same, con you want it a little thinner than you want your base coat, okay? My base coat is uh, one part paint, one part water, and three parts Floetrol. That's what I do. I put the paint in, then I do the Floetrol, mix it up real good, and then I put the one part paint. I do measure that. Uh, but this I do not. I just, I, I know about the consistency. And I use Paint Easy. That's how I get the lacing, guys. Because this is one kind of conditioner and the Floetrol is a different one. And it, and it has a reaction, so it has the lacing. I love it. This stuff I got from um, my local little hardware store. Uh, I think it was Ace Hardware I got it. But it's Wagner's. It's over by the paint sprayers. Okay. Paint easy. And I just, you shake it up real good. And I, I put some in a little container that I'm easier, it's easier for me to handle. And then I have some of these little, like eyedroppers. I got off of them. Amazon, I got like 50 of them for next to nothing. But I do one squirt. It's it says up to 20 right there. Yeah, 20. So I'll do one, okay? I'm going to do one in each one. The green will probably take more. Because it's a thicker paint. But I always mix it up. This is usually about one to one. Because you want it, you want it, uh, a little thinner than the base coat. And see how smooth that is, guys? That is just so pretty. I love this stuff. See? I hope you can see that. It, it just flows right off the stick. It don't matter how high you get it, it just flows right off. Okay? And that's the consistency you want. This one will stir it up. The only time I have problems stirring my paint up is when I put my air at medium in. This air at medium. It gets a little lumpy, but if you just keep stirring and stirring and stirring, it fi they finally go away. Let's see that. Uh, it, it's so pretty and smooth. It's like a real creamy consistency. I, I just know what I'm looking at because I've done it for months. But yeah, this is just so cool right here. I like it. Alright, now the green one will probably need some more because it's a it's a tube paint. So it's thicker. See, see the dis difference? And mixing. Alright, so I think I'm going to add another 10. See how thick that is? Yeah. Alright, another 15. And you just go slowly. You don't have to do this. You can do the flow trawl and just make it thinner. That's what makes lacing is the different consistencies, guys. You don't have to use polycrylic. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Yep, a little more. I should have just put the tin in like I was going to. Alright. So that's another 20. 
So that's 40 on the dropper, two 20s. In there. That's the same consistency as the others. Okay. There you go. Now, I have my scale. I put my cup and my stick in there so it goes to zero. Let me get rid of this because I'm done with it. Put this up. Uh, it's on zero. I'm going to put white. Wait. This is what I use. The Mont Mont School Acrylic Paint. It's the same thing that uh, Julie Cuts use. I love it. It's it's inexpensive. I've got Amsterdam paint, uh, but I use that for my blooms. Or the the yeah the Amsterdam paints. All right, so I usually start off with 50 grams. Because it's an easy number. 48. Too much. Fifty grams. Okay. So let me put this stuff up. All right. Shake my flow troll. Now my float trawl, I put pantyhose on the end of it to strain it. See? It's just easier for me. Now, I'm going to clear it out to zero. There was 50 grams of paint, so I want 150 grams of float trawl. Stop, I tell you. Alright. 149. That's pretty close, ain't it? <laughs> Put that away. Now, I stir this all up. I keep getting purple and gold paint all over me. I'm going to turn the fan on, guys. stir stir now my flow troll is really thick so but I don't usually mess with it I usually just do see how thick it is with just the flow troll and paint it's pretty thick mound on a mound on a mound on a mound on a mound yeah so we want what a voila hope I got 50 grams so we're going to go to 200. All right. And stir, stir, stir without spilling it. Excuse me. Now, before I get started, I always get me a cup with the lid. Lid. Give me a lid with the lid. Because I always put some in that before I even get started. But I'm making a mess. Before I even get started, guys, I'm making a mess. Scrape your sides, your bottom. Okay. 
There you go. Yeah. Now there's the consistency. See? Nice and creamy. Okay? It's just a hair thicker than the colors. Okay? Now. That's going to be it for me talking. Uh, Mardi Gras colors. Metallic. Amethyst. Uh, Deco Art Metallics. Amethyst. Deco Art Metallics. 24 karat gold. And then Artist Lofts. Metallic leaf green. Okay. Alright guys. I'm going to see you in a minute. We're going to get down on the canvas. Oh. Here. Look. I always pour some. In it. Now the lady I'm making the painting for. His name is Kelly. <coughs> <coughs> so that's what I'm going to put on here. I always put a name. Or a letter. Or something, so I know which painting it is. Kelly. Okay? And I'm going to turn this over, and I'm going to go... I'm going to do it on the tape, though. Kelly. Okay? That way, I can say, okay, this is Kelly. This is going to be her colors. Okay? So... Background color, you always need background color extra, okay? Alright, I'm going to get you down the canvas. I'll be right back.